Well, moving on, a biomedical engineer is calling for a policy to include professionals in the discipline in Ghana's health workforce. Dr. Yakuba Med of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology wants a national council established to regulate the field. He was speaking at the second National Biomedical Engineering Conference that took place in Kumasi. Use the role of biomedical engineers in enhancing health care cannot be underestimated. Trained and qualified biomedical engineering professionals are required within the health system that we know. But the biomedical engineering professional is however not included in the official definition of the health workforce or policy framework. And it's high time we sit up. Yes, um, the clinical engineer, he has been pushing hard to get things settled, but he's not the final say, he's not the authority. Uh, we still have to fight for the biomedical engineer to have his place. Just as we have Medical and Dental Council, Nurses Council, the biomedical engineering needs its own agenda. The biomedical engineering needs its own agenda. The meeting was under the theme addressing local healthcare needs through biomedical engineering innovations. Biomedical Engineering Students Coordinator Ken Westy, Dr. Isaac Aqua, observes most of imported equipment are suitable for local needs. He urges scientists and students to identify healthcare challenges related to the expertise and find innovative ways of addressing them. We need to work with the relevant stakeholders to be able to understand the problems so that we can come out with engineering solutions that are adapted to meet the problems that the care, care providers are facing. Deputy Director of Ghana Health Service, Dr. Nicholas Ajabu, believes the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals will largely depend on contribution of the biomedical engineers. Everybody living in Ghana, irrespective of where you are, have access to health care. And SDG um, targets and goals also mandate the government of Ghana to ensure that everywhere you live, you have access to health, and that's the universal health coverage. The two-day meeting brought together stakeholders in the industry and students to deliberate, among other things, new developments in the field. They are expected to come up with drafts for protocols to make biomedical engineering a force to be reckoned with. Dr. Ahmed argues the role of biomedical engineers in a